Purple Ties Podcast. Great stories of Treveca Trojans and life on the hill. Welcome in, Greg Ruff along with you. It's the Purple Ties Podcast number 14, and it's the first time that we've had Chase Sane in here, and that's because, well, he's the new baseball coach here at Treveca. I guess the first thing to do is just say welcome to Treveca, but you've already been here for three years, but welcome to the role as, as head coach here at Treveca the, of the baseball program. Well, thanks, Greg, and that's that's so exciting to hear you say that. And, and yes, I've been here three years, and, and you know, this is home to me now, and it, it was from the moment we got here, and, and, you know, we just fell in love with this place. Well, I, I think a good place to start is just, like, how did you get to Treveca? Like, the, the immediate thing, there's a, there's a more journey – uh, story that we have for you, how you got into baseball and, and all that kind of stuff. But but how did you get to Trebekah? Talk a little bit about that. Well, first off, Greg, I, I do want to wanna thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I mean, he, he made this possible. And it's going to be my purpose, you know, to serve him everything that I do here. Um, my journey to Trebekah, it's, it's kind of been a long one, but uh, and it kind of came full circle. Um, you know, when I, when I finished up at Tennessee for that season, um, you know, I was kind of spinning, you know, what, what do I do? Where, where do I go from here? And I had several people reach out to me and, and, and talk about Trebekah and that, that there might be an opportunity here. And uh, one of my good friends, uh, Tanner Gordon, uh, was here as the pitching coach when that job came open. And, and he reached out to me immediately. And i um, so grateful for him for doing that. And um, it was it was a wild uh, event. I, I knew of Coach Smalls. Um, I didn't know much about Trevecca, the baseball program at the time, but I did know of Coach Smalls and and um, nothing but great things that, that were said about him. And so I, I talked to Tanner about it and then uh, come to find out a guy I worked for back at Victory, my, one of my first jobs out of, out of college, um, a small NAI school in Memphis, Coach John Jarnigan um, actually – uh, was the head coach at Moorhead State back in the day, and Ryan was – Coach Smalls was his uh, GA. Um, so, obviously, that connection helped me out a lot, too, with, with getting my foot in the door here. And um, Coach Smalls interviewed me. I was lucky enough to get to get in the, in, in the door here, and uh, uh, he interviewed me, and the rest was history. It, it worked out great. Me and him connected really well. And, and his wife, Becky – uh, I remember coming up here for my interview with, with Coach Smalls, and uh, Shelby, my wife, came with me, and, and Becky took her to lunch, and, and me and Ryan went to lunch, and uh, and we all just hit it off right there, and it, it never looked back from that day on. So, One of the things in the, in the press release that we put together is you included the hashtag family, and it really has been a family. That's something that Ryan really did uh, make important very from the very start. And that's something obviously you you've talked about too just in in the few days that we've talked about you being the head coach it is it, 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 and you know a lot of people say that and and, it, and sometimes it's kind of cliche to, to use something like that but um if you're ever around this program and and obviously i've been around it three years but but coach smalls has had that going for you know his eight years he was here um it truly is a family and and mm-hmm. as long as i'm here i'm going to keep that hashtag going because um I don't say it unless I mean it. And, it, and like I said, it's something that you have to be around this program and be around the, our guys that we have. And, and and even just the whole athletic department, I mean, it's all truly a family. But within our baseball program, there's no doubt about it. Uh, tell me, I, I like to ask this question. I'm going into it blind, but I, I feel like you're going to give an honest answer. And that is, what do you know about Trevecca now that you didn't know before that, that you just are really glad uh, is here? Well, um, you know, the biggest thing is probably just the relationships with people around campus. And and that's not even I'm not even uh, just mentioning the athletics. I mean, you run across anybody on campus and, and it's you're met with a, a smile and, and a conversation to be had. I mean, it's really it's really a special place and it's a small community. And and, you know, I just feel that that it's very welcoming to anybody, you know, that they come to campus and for the baseball program and athletics, it's. You know, it has a, the reputation is strong and it's really good. And you go around, I mean, I've been around recruiting, um, you know, around town and around the whole state. And, and it has a really good reputation. I mean, people like to, to say good things about Trevecca. And, 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 you know, and it's, like I said, the relationships on the, at this place are, are really special. You're the 10th coach in the history of the program. It's going into the 51st year. Uh, I think 
as, as we were talking a little bit ago, I think it's appropriate to say you've been through something. We all say we've never been through this before. Right. But you've been through a season ending or potentially ending midway through. Talk about that at what happened at Victory, uh, your first you know job in in the in the business and how you guys handle it. Maybe that how that prepared you and helped you uh, helping Ryan over this past season. Well, that's a that's a great, great uh, point, Greg, that that year at Victory, you know, it, it was um, some highs and lows. That's for sure. It, it, the school was shutting down. OK, and it, and it, it was shutting down in the spring. So um, at the, that time, they totally eliminated the baseball baseball program um, when the wow. shutdown happened. Um, you know, no games. You guys are done. No practice. Um, so Coach Jarnigan, who is just one of the most special men uh, in my life, I mean, he's he is amazing, godly uh, influence on me. And I mean, he's just been awesome. He did not want that season to end. And so he um, asked the school and asked the administration, hey, look, if we raise the money, can we keep this thing going? And they said, absolutely. If you raise the money, you, you can keep it going. So he reached out and, and like I said, he's he's well known in the baseball world, and the baseball yeah. community. Everybody loves him. He, he reached out to friends and, and former uh, players and former coaches that he had worked with or just people he'd worked camps with and just people in the baseball world. And, and it was amazing to see the amount of love and just pride that people had in him and, and wanted to, to help him out. And so they gave uh, people gave money, donations, you know, to, to help us uh, fund the rest of the season. And he got it done. We funded the rest of the season, ended up uh, doing really well, ended up making the small college World Series. So we went there and did did pretty good in that. We ended up um, coming in third place, I think, if I remember right. And then, uh, but it was just something, something that, you know, it was obviously God's doing because you had to see, be there and it, to see how amazing that was. Absolutely. I would, I would imagine that's something you've, uh, resourced many times over your over your career since then well what would you want to say to the current baseball team because you know i i told you this before i've, I've been around this a long time I've, I've seen teams rally around a coach in a situation like that saying hey you got to hire this guy i don't know if i've seen but any any team rally around someone more than than this team did for you well first i want to tell them i love them and and how much i appreciate them because they did and you know it was humbling and and just super overwhelming and here's the thing greg i didn't ask one one of them to do what they did they completely supported me you know on their own will and 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 i just want to know how much i appreciate that and and their support and and to greg their families you know i've had a lot of uh the families uh praying for me and, and just texting me and just wishing me well and wishing me and my wife well. And they didn't have to do that. You know, I didn't ask, like I said, I didn't ask them to do that. I, and, you know, it, I just don't want it to go unnoticed because that meant the world to me for, for our guys to do that and for their parents. I mean, that, that meant everything. You learn stuff about people doing press releases you and, and all these processes. One of the things I learned is while we were doing this press release, it was very important for you to thank the people that helped you along the way. So yes. I'm going to give you another opportunity to do that because, the, because you know, you don't get, and you've already said that, you don't get where you are without a lot of people helping you along the way. Absolutely. Absolutely. First, Greg, I got to thank my, my beautiful wife, Shelby. She's, she has been absolutely fantastic. And her support and the love that she's given me, I mean, she has been with me through this whole through this whole coaching uh, career and and you know it hasn't been always easy um it's been hard we've moved we moved three times in four years and she has just been unbelievably steadfast and everything that, that, that we've done and i cannot thank her enough and i you know i just want her to know how much i love her but hold on, hold on, um, hold on, hold on so you have, you have to tell people a little bit more about her because i understand she yeah. might be able to sing a little bit i know she's into yeah. design just let, let yeah. people know a little bit about her yeah, 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 for sure. She she can sing. Now she's she's really good. She. So uh, I gotta ask you, why isn't she sing the national anthem yet for us? No, I'm just. Well, kidding. hey, 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 we gotta we gotta make that happen. Yeah. Um, she actually did. She she was she graduated from Ole Miss. She won Ole Miss Idol uh, down there. She um was in American Idol season. I, I can't think it was season eight. She might, I might that might be wrong with that, but she was on uh, on American Idol. Um, she sang at 
Ole Miss national anthems, the football game, the baseball games. Uh, she sang at Tennessee a few times. So, um, yeah, she loves it, you know, and uh, uh, she's great at what she does. Now she's actually an interior designer in Franklin. Um, so she, that's something that she grew up. Her, her mother was kind of into that. So she grew up with that background and she loves it. Um, but, yeah, yeah, she can sing. We'll have to get her out here for sure. Absolutely. Hey, let's talk about some of the people that helped you get along the way. At some point, I want you to answer the question about each coach that you've worked for and something you got from each one of them. Okay. Yeah, for sure. First, uh, let me, let me, I got to thank my parents. They've, uh, mm -hmm. they have obviously been there for my whole baseball career and, and even some more so with this coaching journey. Um, I cannot thank them enough. I love them so much and best parents that a guy could ever ask for us for sure. Um, so I wanted to, to thank my parents for everything they've done for me and for me and Shelby. Um, my brother and sister too, I, I love them so much. I call them for anything they, that, that I need as well. I just want to thank them. Um, and my in-laws too, Shelby's parents, that they've been fantastic. They've been great and couldn't ask for better in-laws. Um, yeah, so I, wanna, I do want to thank all the coaches that, I've, that have been a huge impact on me and in, in my, my life, my baseball playing career, my coaching career. Um, Starts out in high school with my uh, two coaches that I think back, you know, a lot and just remember things that 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 they did in high school. Uh, Coach Keith Cavanaugh and Coach Mark Fulgham were huge uh, influences uh, in my baseball career and and now in my coaching career, um, which led me to to college baseball. And and uh, Coach Darren Schoenrock in Memphis gave me a chance, you know, to play college baseball at a great university. Um, and I'm so grateful for, for, for that opportunity and for him. Um, Coach uh, John Jarnigan, my first job, you know, uh, I can't thank him enough and, and the impact that he's had on my life. Uh, uh, Coach uh, Jim McGuire at MTSU, he gave me a chance to come be the volunteer assistant there for two years. Um, he was a great boss, great coach, and just a joy to work for. Um, and then Coach Dave Serrano at Tennessee, he, he gave me the chance to come be his volunteer for, for his final season at Tennessee. And uh, that was a big opportunity for me. He, and he has been fantastic. I, we talk all the time, and, and I know I'm be leaning on him for, for a lot of advice uh, as a head coach now. And, and I couldn't ask for better guys, better coaches to, to lean on. The, every one of them are just super important to me. And, and I just can't thank all of them enough for the imp impact and influence they've had on me. All right. So there's a couple more people. You, you got you to talk about Mark Elliott because yep. uh, he's been through this process. And probably you've talked a little bit about Ryan Smalls, but yep. uh, talk about them a little bit and how they, they have helped you through this. But also, I know you're just very appreciative of the opportunity, too. Absolutely. Mark Elliott has been so great great to me and in this opportunity i cannot thank him enough he, he's taken a chance on me and I, I just want him to know how much i appreciate it um he has been this whole transition has been really really as e easy as it can be with with me being here for the last three years and getting to know uh, mark as an assistant coach you know a lot of ad's you don't get that opportunity to meet yeah. the, to meet an ad and and get a relationship with him as an assistant coach and he treated me no different than anybody else. And, and that's another reason why this place is so special is because of Mark Elliott. And, and I just want to thank him so much for this opportunity and, and Holly Whitby, um, Dr. Boone, the trust that they've, they've instilled in me to, to take over this position. I cannot thank them enough. All right. One of the things that I was uh, as impressed about as anything was the quotes that you sent me. I mean, it was a book, but, uh, but, yeah. but I loved it. I yeah. love that you that you didn't just send me a quote. You sent yeah. me I know. how you felt. No, no, is this uh, no? I'm saying that is great because a lot of times I get like a sentence. Yeah, uh, you shared your heart. Talk yeah. about the promise that the promise that you I promise, and then the list that you put there. Uh, just talk about that and why that means so much to you. Yeah, um, Greg. Before I get into that, I, I want to before this thing ends, I, I got to talk about Ryan Smalls one more time. Oh yes, yes. I just want to. I want him to know how much I appreciate him and I would not be here if it wasn't for him and, and that opportunity he took uh, with me three years ago. 
and his support that that he's given me over these last couple of weeks since his announcement, I I wasn't deserving of it, and and I just want him to know how much I appreciate it, and and how how humbling it is, and 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 Becky as well, she's been fantastic, and I just want them to know how much we we appreciate them, Shelby and I, and. He is going to be as involved as he wants to be with this program. We want him around. Our players are still, they're like, hey, you think Coach Smalls is going to be in the stands? I said, he better be in the stands. I got his seat still up there. So No, no, we, 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 got, we got a spot for him in the broadcast booth. There you go. Yeah. There you go. That'd be, that'd be even better. But, yeah. but I want him to know that he's going to be in, as involved with this, this program uh, as much as he wants to be. And, and hashtag family is going to stay as long as I'm here. So. Um, yeah, let's get into the to the promise. Uh, yes, um, you know I, I wrote that out, and and you know just thinking about this place and 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 how fortunate I am to be here. And so our promise is, we you know we're going to be grounded in the Lord's word. We'll be built on toughness and affirmation. We'll be principled in our performance, and we're going to be structurally accountable for our actions on and off the field. Um, you know, I want our guys to, to be young men and, and, and to, to, to be mature and be respectful. And everything we do, you know, is, is to glorify God. And we're going to be tough. You know, I want them to be tough. We're going we're gonna to face adversity head on. Um, we're not going to back down from it, but we're going to face it head on. We're going to learn from it. You know, we're, gonna, we're human. We're going to make mistakes. And I want, them to, I want them to know that it's okay. But we're going to face those those head on, and 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 you know, we got a, a special group of guys. We really do, and and I'm just so fortunate to get to be around them every day. All right, that's that's about all we have time for today. I I've enjoyed this. Congratulations, and I look forward to working with you over the many years. How, however much the Lord blesses us to be here, but thank you, Chase, for taking the time and and working with us so well, even before getting the head coaching job, but also uh, in particular the last couple of days. It's been really good to work with you. I appreciate it, Greg. Thank you so much for doing this and, and having me on here, and I'm fired up and excited. Go Trojans. All right, that's Chase Sane. And episode number 14 of the Purple Ties podcast is in the books. Purple Ties Podcast. Great stories of Treveca Trojans and life on the hill.